So, um, one of the hardest things about decluttering is the emotional attachment to things that we have. And um, I guess I'm just like everybody else in that respect. I was um, cleaning out my file cabinet and I came across yet another bizarrely labeled folder. This one is, uh, yeah, funeral programs. I, here's what's weird. My mom used to save these, you know, she'd go to wakes and funerals and she'd save these, uh, and every black handbag she owned had a funeral program in it. I used to tease her about it. So I guess somehow in my brain, I thought it was better uh, if I saved them in an actual folder. Um, but I came across this folder and, you know, it's, I, I thought everybody uh, did this. I guess it really depends on your tradition. I mean, I've got actual programs, uh, which... Uh, people do and then I, I don't know if this is just a Catholic thing. I grew up Catholic. I'm over it now, but um, I grew up Catholic and so I have these little You know, I don't I don't dead people trading cards, I guess you call them and I I'm I'm going to throw these I'm going to throw the whole folder away um, and I guess the difficulty is that it feels disrespectful uh, on some level, but the reality is uh, keeping these doesn't keep the good memories that I have of these people. Um, keeping these programs, these cards, makes them no less dead. And I'm never gonna open this folder and feel good. Uh, the goodness comes from my own random memories, not pieces of plastic and paper in a file folder. I don't think that's what they would want. Um, it's not what I want. So I, I, I won't call it clutter because that feels disrespectful but maybe not the best method of memory keeping and love showing how about that so I'm letting it go